former South African President Nelson Mandela, age 94, back in the hospital. Robin Kernow joins us live from CNN Johannesburg. Robin, do you know anything about his condition? We don't know exactly uh, the state of his condition, although we have been given some clues by the government here. They released a statement just over an hour ago saying that in the early hours of Saturday morning at 1.30 a.m., Nelson Mandela was taken to a Pretoria hospital suffering from a reoccurring lung condition that's essentially pneumonia. And I think what is crucial about this statement is that they say he's in a serious but stable condition. Robin, certainly not the first time the former South African leader has been admitted to hospital in recent months. Absolutely not. This is a fourth time, if my calculations are correct, in the last six months that he's been admitted to hospital with this lung infection, with problems with his lungs. Um, and, and no doubt this is a concern because, as you said, he's 94 years old. Uh, those people, the doctors uh, who uh, treat old people with pneumonia, say that the kind of uh, things he might have been experiencing were breathlessness, difficulty breathing, uh, coughing fits, and it's that kind of concern, I think, no doubt, doctors who look after him 24 hours a day would have felt that it necessitated a trip back to the hospital, bearing in mind his own, ho his own bedroom is a bit like a hospital room. It's like an intensive care unit. So his condition uh, was obviously serious enough, worrying enough, for them to take him out of the safe and quite uh, clean environment of his home uh, for an, uh, nearly an hour trip to a Pretoria hospital. So I think all eyes, no doubt, on that Pretoria hospital today and South Africans will also no doubt have him in, in their thoughts and prayers. Robin, if we get more information on Mandela's condition, would that come from Jacob Zuma's office or would that come from the hospital? It will come directly from Jacob Zuma's office, from the presidency. And I think what is, uh, what is to be noted with the management of this information about his health, particularly over the last six months, is that it's become much more tighter, much more controlled. All lines of communication are through the president's office. And I think this comes after a number of experiences that worried people in government and, of course, Nelson Mandela's family. There was quite chaotic scenes at a hospital uh, more than a year or two ago when there were sort of different lines of communication. And, of course, with a lack of communication becomes a vacuum, and that breeds rumor and, and all sorts of things. So I think they didn't like previous experiences of, of how his hospitalizations were managed. Uh, there was too much uh, innuendo going out there. So there's a very tight information control about the kind of details of his condition, and it all comes through the presidency. Robin Kernow, live in Johannesburg. And, of course, we will continue to monitor, monitor Nelson Mandela's condition and bring you all the latest devel developments.